Social Security Administration. How may I assist you? I got a call. There's something wrong with my Social Security number, and I got to know why. All right. Well, okay. So when did you get a call? It was 2.30. I just got home. Mm. Okay. Just got home from work. Mm -hmm. All right. So before I go ahead and help you, Proceed with the faulty information. I have to make sure you're the right person to get this information. So, may I know whom I'm speaking with? Yes, Yakov Yakov. Sorry? Yakov. Y A K O V. Jakov. Jakov. Yes. Jakov and the last. J A K O V. Mm -hmm. The last name? J A K O V. How is it? It's a J A K O V. Is it B S and Bravo? No, V is in Victor. Victor, Jacob. All right, and your last name? That is my last name. My first name is right, Jacob. Y A K O V. Jack Sorry. Boy, Y A. Uh huh. K O. Uh huh. V. Uh huh. Jacob. Jack Jacob Jacob. Right. Okay, and uh, Mr. Jacob, would you please help me with your current zip code? One three three two three. One three three two three. Yes. All right. All right. So, in what state are you? New York. New York. Which city? Clinton, New York. Okay, I got you. All right, I got you. Okay. All right, Mr. Jacob, do you have an initial name? Middle initial name. P. It's a P as on feature. Yes. All right. Thank you very much. All right, so Mr. Jacob, can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. Mm -hmm. All right, so now before I go ahead and give you a default information, would you please verify your social security number so that I can pull out your record and let you know the nature of this call? 099 013154. Uh -huh. 013154. Yeah, that's the last numbers, yeah. All right, I got you. All right, so it's a o nine nine o one three one five four, right? That's right. All right. Thank you very much. All right, so now, Mr. Jacob, before I proceed with the faulty information, I'm bound to inform you this line is federally recorded by the SSA headquarters, the Attorney General, and also by the federal government. So whatever you said will be. Taken as a statement inside the federal courthouse, federal either in favor of. Well, I will let you know everything. You don't have to worry about it. I got security number. All of a sudden, you're talking about the federal courthouse. I, I don't know what's going on here, even. Sorry. I don't even know what's going on, and you're talking about federal courthouse. I'm sorry, uh, sir. Would you please repeat once more? I mean, would you please? Okay, I got you. I just made a mistake. All right. Yeah, I will let you know everything. All right? Okay. All right. You don't have to worry about it. Well, I'm All right. So now, it. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do understand. All right, but I'm here to help you out with the information. Okay. Right, so let me go. Let me go step by step. Okay. Okay. All right. So, Mr. Jacob, I say that. Whatever you said will be taken as a statement inside the federal court house, either in favor of you or against you. And third party conversation is strictly prohibited. So while we are having conversation, I don't want someone is talking to you and you are talking to someone else, all right? What if somebody calls? Means I'm saying that third party conversation is strictly prohibited. Okay, I won't connect and to anybody else. What? Okay, go ahead. No. What I'm going to say, we, in the meantime, while we're having conversation in the meantime, I don't want someone to come and interrupt you. Well, if somebody comes and interrupts you, what do you want me to do? I said, while we are having conversation, uh, yeah, okay, I don't want... Okay, your... okay, okay, okay. Mm. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, so, Mr. Jacob. Now, do you have a pen and paper handy with you so that you can note it on some of the information? Once you're ready, let me know. Okay, go ahead. I got one here. Ready? All right. All right. You can write it down your cash ID number. D as in David, C as in Charlie, number six, number eight, number nine, number four. Six, nine, eight, four. 
or six eight nine yes, four. It's a six eight nine four. That's right. Okay. And your S I D number is rest. Start with the number. What? Yes. What an ID. What are you talking about? Rest. Rest. Listen, I will mention everything. I just want you to make sure, all right? And there was, a, I just want you to get everything so that you can, once I transfer this call to the chief investigating officers, you can confirm me that I have got all these things, all right? Yeah, go ahead. All right. It's a, it starts with the number three. Three. Mm -hmm. Number four. Four. Number six. Six. Number nine. Nine. Number seven. Seven. Number five. All right. All right. And you can write it down my information as well. This is Johan Wheeler and a batch. ID number Johan. is. How do you spell that? J O H A N N. You. Can you understand? Johan. Yeah. What was his last name? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wheeler. W. This is W as in whiskey. I as in Indiana. L as in Larry. Again, L as in Lima, A as in Alpha, R as in Romeo. Willer. Jo Johan That's Willer. Right. That's right. Okay. And you're, are you in uh, relation to the North Carolina Willers? I know a couple of Willers down there. Sorry? I, I know some Willers in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. you, you know from there. Okay. Yeah, I know, I know a couple of people there. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. So now... And my best ID number is seven nine one four days two one. Okay. All right. All right. So now let me go ahead and explain you what is going Please on do. under your name and under your sources. All right. Please do. Yeah. All right. So the reason you get a call from us is that we have gotten order to suspend your sources on immediate basis because your sources has been compromised for some fraudulent activities in the state of Texas. So have you ever been to the state of Texas before? Texas, no. No. All right. Have you oh, ever wait, lost yeah, I a was, I was in Texas once. I forgot all about it. You was in Texas. Uh -huh. I was. I was. I was. I went partying uh -huh. down there once. I forgot all about it. Ooh, I got loaded. Sorry? I got loaded down there. I forgot all about it. All right. Have you ever lost your personal information? No, I don't think so. You don't think so, right? Did you share your information with anyone else? No, no. You don't, all right? Sure. And do you know? Yeah. And do you know anyone out there in the state of Texas? No, I, I know one guy in the whole state of Texas. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. So now let me go ahead and explain you what is going on and what have they done under your name and under your sources. All right. Yeah, go ahead. All right, all right. So the investigation started when we found an abandoned car on the south border of Texas. The make and model of the vehicle was Toyota Corolla 2008, wow. black in color. So this car had. Toyota. That's right. I don't have one. All right, this car had some blood and drugs residues inside it. Hence, after investigation, we found that the car was rented under your name and under your source. Who would and there rent are a 2008 Toyota? Sorry? I said, why would someone it's rent a, a 2008 Toyota? Well, I don't know exactly why did they rent and what is their, why did they are using, but for what reason they are using it. All right? Uh, this car was rendered under your name and under your sources. And there are two addresses linked with the title of the vehicle. The first address is your address, and the second is 3900 Main Street, Rollet City, Texas. So do you know this address? My friend lives near there. Near the, the Rollet City? The guy I know, Hopalon Cassidy, lives there. And near there. Not right in the city, but Hoppy's got a... A ranch outside mm -hmm. outside of Rollet. Mm -hmm. Um, but I, I, he wouldn't do this. Happy. He's a good guy. All right, all right. This 3900 Main Street Rollet City Texas was raided by the U.S. Marshals and team, but unfortunately, there was no one at the But we have recovered 
22 pounds of cocaine, which is an abusive drug, and some well, that men from on how you look at it. Sorry? That depends on how you look at it. It depends on how I look? How you look at it, if it's abusive or not. I mean, yeah, you can abuse it, you can also not abuse it. Mr. Jacob, are you trying to play with me? No, I'm just saying it's illegal, but it's not abusive necessarily. What do you mean? I don't mean nothing. Go ahead. Tell me whatever you got to tell me, please. No, it's Anna. You can simply disconnect the line. And hey, I'm sure that you're not scammer. interested at all. Scammer. 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 Go fuck yourself. Did you hear me? Stupid. Calls over.